am condemned to live here, to suffer on this earth eternally, as a punishment for my sin. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. But, should I find the crime more heinous, my terrible punishment will end. Come with me to the largest city in the world. To New York. All right, a little higher with that pretty face. Come on, Gwenny, that's it. Now relax the hand on the hip, that's right. Now the shoulder, left shoulder, a little higher. That's a girl. Now the smile, the old come on smile. That's it, good girl. This is the 28th photo you took. Oh, I didn't count. Besides, you're being paid by the hour. This isn't included in the fee. Don't be coy with me. You have a wife. Well, not since last week. Besides, why should a guy get cooped up just because he paid two bucks for a marriage license? Did it hurt? I should have warned you about lover boy. I'm being paid to work. That'll be the last time I'm working for him. Wait till you see your picture in the mags. You'll change your mind. He's the best of all photographers. Pushy, but a genius. Charlie, you better stay here with me. I'm afraid I'm going to look a little too sexy in these things. I'm not going to work anymore today. It's up to you, Don, to work or not. But I'm getting paid. Aren't I, Charlie? <sighs> sure, now get out of here. Coming? Come on, get out. Okay, okay. What's the rush? Have a drink. Never drink before six. Well, have one with me. It'll calm you down. Yeah? What do you want? I came for my dog. Oh, here. Candy. Don, you need a rest. You're overworked. I feel fine, Johnny. Why don't you go away for a few days? But don't take a girl with you. Everybody running my life? Well, you need somebody to run your life. Charlie, you make enough money off of me. What do you want me to do? Go up to Maine, to New England. But only with your camera. Take photographs. Rest. Change the surroundings. Find yourself again. I'm not lost, Charlie. If you don't take a rest, I'm afraid you're going to be in trouble. With whom? Women? They're fine trouble. With yourself. You're working yourself up into a full-size nervous breakdown. Oh, rot. Oh, get away and come back rested, serene, clear-eyed. I want you to turn to serious work from now on. You're too great a talent to waste it throwing away photographing these dames in bikinis and sport coats. You're a photographic genius, Doc. That's what I am, Charlie. Do what I say. Get away. Okay, Charlie. Okay. Let me take your photograph, will you?
I'd like to talk to you. Why don't you let me take your picture? Look, I'm a professional photographer. You've got features I've never seen on another woman. I haven't offended you, have I? All I want is a photograph. Don't be afraid of me. Don? All I do is press the button. You're using the camera like a, like an artist of brush. Look at this old man and the horse. Two old pals having worked together all their lives, yeah, now yeah, grown yeah, old again. Yeah. What's the matter with you, Don? You never used to drink before six. Don't tell me what I should do and what I shouldn't do. should come back rested, less nervous. What's bothering you, Don? You and everybody else. Hmm? Look, Charlie, if you're going to take my worries, you only take 10%, huh? Now, be a good boy and go off and leave me. I'm tired. <laughs> At three in the afternoon? Yeah, do I have to stick to convention about being tired? Well, I don't want to bother you, Don. I only came by to tell you that World Magazine wants to do a spread about you, 16 pages. The work of the most famous photographer of our time, Don Powell. What are you doing, Charlie? In your absence, I even picked out the pictures. I got the Wagner galleries for the exhibition. What's the matter, Charlie? Don't you make enough money off of me? But, Don... You tell me to rest, then let me rest. But, Don... Look, I don't want all this publicity. I don't want to be plastered on gallery walls. I don't want to be published in millions of magazines. You're still sick. Okay, I'm sick. Now go! I hope you feel better tomorrow. If you do, come around to the Wagner Galleries. Gerard of the World wants to meet you. He's going to pick out the pictures for the magazine.
Harold, this boy of mine is the hottest thing in New York right now. When he was doing... Oh, Don. Mr. Gerard, World Magazine, Don Powell. How do you do? Mr. Powell, congratulations. Thank you. Your work is fabulous. Well, you take a few hundred thousand photographs, a few are bound to turn out. I could take a million, and I'd never have your quality. The lights, fusing on the shadows. The symbolism. We've chosen 24 for the world. Oh. We'll also give you a color spread, though your fort is black and white. This is my favorite. Beautiful composition. You can almost touch the snow. And still, it has something unreal about it. How did that picture get here? Oh, it's not so bad, Don. How did it get here? It's the best of the collection, I'd say. It shows the eyes of a master who can pick the right object at the exact right light. It shouldn't be here. Please, Don. He's never satisfied with his work, is he? Did you hang that picture here, Charlie? I found it in the dark room. I thought you forgot to give it to me. I'll make it the cover of the magazine. No. What's the matter, Mr. Powell? I, uh, I don't like this print. Looks perfect to me. No, no, I'll see that you get another one. This is just a proof. Oh, no. You leave that with me. No. What's wrong with him? Who is it? It's me, Dixie. Hi. What do you want? A drink. I didn't call you. I know. I thought you might be lonely. Or you must have a girl up here. Anyhow, I want to be sure which is which and what's what. Aren't you glad I came? I was at the exhibition. It was terrific. But you know what I like best? The pictures you took of me. But you didn't exhibit the right ones. Where are they? No! Why not? You took pictures of me, much better ones, than you showed at the gallery. I, I have a good figure. You said so yourself. Where are they? No, no, Dixie, please. Why? Why are you suddenly so shy? Those are my pictures, too. Now give them to me. No! You know, sometimes you frighten me. There's something in you that really scares me. I didn't mean to. I better go. Dixie. Please stay. Please don't leave me alone. You certainly have changed. How? In what way? I don't know. But it isn't you anymore. Well, then who is it? Since you came back from your vacation. Something must have happened to you, Don. What is it? No, nothing. Have you met another girl? Why? Why do you say that? I... I never saw you so... How? Say it, how? You look... frightened. What's frightening you, Don? Nothing. What a silly question. Don't touch me. Why? Why not? No.
Charlie? Yeah. Okay, so I walked out on the exhibition and Gerard's unhappy. I couldn't care less. No, he's not getting the photo. That's what I want to talk to you about. Charlie, where can I meet you? Anywhere you say, anywhere but here. No, I'm... No, I'm alone. Charlie, shut up and listen to me. Charlie, I'll meet you... Uh, at, at, at the 59 bar. Okay, and I want you there, Charlie. You got it? The 59 bar. I made it as fast as I could. Look, Charlie, I want to ask you something. Yes? Yeah? Oh, the same. Thank you, sir. What is it? Charlie, do you think I'm insane? No, of course not. How long have you known me? Fifteen years? Have I changed lately? Oh, you're more nervous, but everybody Come has on, their Charlie, bad time. Give me a direct answer, yes or no? Well, since you asked me. Yes, you have changed. That's what Dixie said. She left me just now. Yes, she phoned me. She did, huh? Charlie? Charlie, it's incredible. It can't be. What? Can a photograph be alive? What do you mean, alive? Look, I took a picture of that old farmhouse. Hmm? There's nobody in the picture. You saw it. Was there anybody in it? No, there wasn't. It was just a photo of the okay. old farmhouse with a okay. path leading down. Well, look, somebody has come out of that house and they're coming toward me, closer and closer. Well, Don, you must be dreaming. Oh, no, they're coming closer and closer. Do you know her? No. Someone you no. recognize. Well, then who could it be? I don't... I don't know. I'm only trying to tell you somebody has appeared in that photograph, and they're getting larger and larger. What am I going to do? Huh? Well, I think you better talk to somebody who can give you an answer. I'm not the right guy, Don. Mm. I won't do that. I know when I'm seeing the thing. Look, this whole thing is nothing but a hallucination. No. Look, I'll go with you to the studio and prove to you that you're only seeing things. Why not? This would prove to you that you're only imagining the thing. No. Look, if I can't see her, you'll believe me. I know you will. No. Don, be reasonable. Let me come with you. No. Sorry, I'm going with you. No, you're not. Don! Well, don't bother. I'm all right. His heart has stopped. <laughs> 